Western country has the highest man pattern baldness rate, about 40% of the Western population do experience hair loss at the age of 20, 30. When it is compared to the Asian countries, their baldness rate is just at 20% of the same age group. So why do people of Asian descent tend to experience less hair loss compared to others? Let's break it down. All right, so the first factor we need to talk about is genetics. Genes play a huge role in determining whether or not we experience hair loss, how soon it happens, and how severe it might be. Studies have shown that people of Asian descent generally have certain genetic markers that make them less prone to male or female pattern baldness. Of course, not everyone follows this exact pattern, but on average, Asians are more resistant to the types of hair loss that commonly affect people of European descent. When it comes to hair loss, there's a genetic sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, which is the hormone responsible for shrinking hair follicles. In general, people of East Asian descent show lower sensitivity to DHT, which might explain why their hair follicles tend to remain healthier for longer. Next up, let's talk about hair structure. Did you know that different ethnicities can actually have different hair structures and growth patterns? Asian hair strands are usually thicker and rounder in cross-section compared to Caucasian or African hair types. This structural difference can make Asian hair more resilient to breakage and damage, helping maintain a fuller look longer. Plus, the density of hair follicles on the scalp tends to be higher in Asians, which adds to the perception of thicker, fuller hair. Now, genetics isn't everything. Diet and lifestyle can also make a big difference. Traditional Asian diets tend to be rich in nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and minerals, all of which are essential for healthy hair growth. For example, Foods like fish, seaweed, green tea, and soy are packed with vitamins and minerals that can support hair health. These foods provide nutrients like iron, vitamin C, vitamin E, and zinc, which help strengthen hair and keep the scalp healthy. Plus, these diets are often lower in processed sugars and unhealthy fats, which can lead to better overall health, including hair health. one of the key aspects of maintaining healthy hair is regular scalp care and many Asian cultures emphasize gentle and effective hair care practices. For example, it's common in some Asian households to apply natural oils like coconut or camellia oil to nourish the scalp and hair. Oiling and massaging the scalp can help increase blood circulation and provide nutrients directly to hair follicles. This is a traditional practice in several Asian cultures that not only keeps the scalp moisturized, but also encourages healthy hair growth. And finally, let's talk about stress. Research shows that chronic stress can accelerate hair loss, and some studies suggest that Asian populations may report lower levels of stress or different types of stresses compared to Western cultures. While this is changing as lifestyles globalize, lower stress levels may still play a role in maintaining hair health in certain regions. Stress increases cortisol, which can disrupt hair growth cycles, leading to more hair fall. So lifestyle practices that reduce stress, like meditation, Tai Chi, or just community-based living, might contribute to better hair retention in the long run. So to recap, here are the main reasons why Asians might experience less hair loss. Genetic resistance to DHT and pattern baldness, unique hair structure and density, nutrient-rich diet with foods that support hair health, scalp and hair care practices like oiling and massaging, and potentially lower stress levels in certain traditional lifestyles. 
Of course, hair loss can happen to anyone regardless of ethnicity, and factors like aging, illness, and environment also play a huge role. But understanding these general trends can give us a better idea of how we might manage or prevent hair loss in our own lives. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on health, wellness, and lifestyle tips. And let us know in the comments, what are your favorite hair care tips? Let's share some good advice. See you next time.